One of the classes that implements the map interface is hash map. To create a new hash map, we simply say new hash map. Now we specify the type of key and type of value we are going to have. So when you're passing in a type, you're going to pass in two data types. The data types don't have to be the same. There isn't any rule that says the two data types must be the same. But I am going to have the two data types to be integer for this example. So the key would be an integer and the value would be an integer. The first type represents the type of key and the second the type of value. When you're putting an element, you use the method called put. So in HashMap, we add new elements using the method put. The first value represents the key and the second represents the value. So I added an element of 100 and I gave it a key of 1. An element of 45 and I gave it a key of 2. And then an element 78, I gave it a key of 3. When I come to the hash map, what I do is I can tell it, give me the value of key 2, which is 45. We can print out the hash map to show all the keys and their values. When you want to get the value of a particular key, you use the get method. Now I say get two. That will look for the value that has a key two. I need to print out 45. So get collects a key. It searches the hash map for which value has the key. You cannot have two values in a hash map that share the same key, but you can have two different keys that have the same value. You can use any key. For example, the next key doesn't have to be four. I can create a key and let's say I make the key 22 and the value 987. If I go ahead and call key 45, there is no key like that, so it will print out null, which means there is no value that has a key 45. If I call key 22, it should print out 987, and that is correct. So this is the simple structure of a hash map. You have the keys and you have the values.